would most certainly be the crazy fans here in Madison. And here we go, one last time at Bree Stevens Field. It's Ford Madison with something to prove against a by hungry Chattanooga Red Wolves side. Frischnick to the big body to target for the Red Wolves side of things. You see him there, number 22. Ramos also pretty tall himself, and this one gets deflected. It was off the head of, it looks like Jonathan Ricketts. Well, there's a spooky outfit, ranch dressing. Now Gebhardt on the attack. Garrett Gebhardt fires a shot saved by Tim Trill. He had Josiah trimming him in the middle. He opted to take the shot himself. After a handful for the Red Wolves, can the Mingos do better with theirs? Header from Malloy goes off of Ronaldo Pineda. It'll be Enriquez. His shot curls on target and finds the top right shelf. Holy smokes, Christian Enriquez gives the Mingos the lead. Look at this. Can't put it any better. Hasn't done the dirty work. Gebhard plays it forward to Jepsen. This one's squared in the middle. It's saved by Trilk, and then it goes in for an own goal. It's disaster. A 2-0 lead for Foreign Madison. Jonathan Ricketts blows that one into the back of his own net. You can see him just come in trying to help the case, and instead gets right in the way of Ramos' clearance, impedes it, and puts it in the exact wrong direction. Better right. Chattanooga, I'd at least be counting your blessings in that fact. I would not want to play North Texas in the playoffs. That's not the kind of team I would want to face. Not that any of them are slouches. As that, fall, that shot goes off a player and into the back of the net. This one's not over yet. A deflected shot from Ray Ortiz the last 20 minutes. We take a look at this Dairyland replay. I'm not sure. I thought it skidded off of another player. Maybe Derek Gebhard got a piece of it. Oh, is it Correa Garcia? Plays it out to Mensingen. Nice little pass. Mensingen plays it forward. Galindrez turns. Galindrez with some space. Fires! And it skips wide. A bouncing shot from Juan Galindrez. Surprised to not see Trilk up there. Here's Ruiz's ball. Headed on target. Saved by Brino. The follow-up could not get put in by Jorge Luna either. And Brino raises his fist in the air. That's the final whistle. It may not have been the season they wanted, but it's going to end on their terms. 